also have my own passion for glass, which it keeps me fueled. And um, you know, I find that every time I I challenge myself with a new level of projects, that uh, I'm learning more. And so it's it's never kind of worn off. The glass is the kind of thing I think once it gets under your skin, so to speak, uh, you just can't tear yourself away from it. You know, working with the pipe is really kind of one of the main main skills one needs to develop. Then there's this other thing where you're you're actually dealing with a gooey gob off the end of this stick, and that is affected by gravity much the same as you know like a drip of honey on the end of a spoon that you've drawn from a jar. So you're constantly chasing this sort of gooey liquid out on the end of a stick. We get it as broken um, shards, or, or we call it frit, and then this uh, colored, these chips of colored glass, we're able to sprinkle on a metal plate and roll the soft glass that we gather from the furnace over those chips. They can then be fused with a bit more heat into the surface of the bubble, and the bubble is blown in like it would be if it was just clear glass. So 90 to 95 percent of almost all our pieces are mostly clear, but they're enhanced with small amounts of colored glass melted in. We start out with a blowpipe, which is a hollow tube, and take a gather of glass on the end of it. And once you have the gather of glass, it kind of falls off the end of the pipe still on it and you blow a bubble into the gather that you have. Once you've blown your bubble, you take other gathers and so that you can increase the size and the volume of the piece that you're making. And once you've uh, gotten your gathers and you have it, you can shape it down with the different tools that you have to make the different shapes that you want with the glass object. Once you've made the glass object, you make a neck in it where it makes the glass thinner on the piece where you're going to break it off essentially from the blowpipe. And once you've gotten this neck down, you get another uh, rod called the punty, which you attach to the very bottom, which is a, basically it's a chunk of glass off the end of a, another rod. You attach it to the bottom and then where you have your neck, you quench it with water and you can use a file to cut through the glass so that it makes an effective neck and you tap the blowpipe and it breaks off where you put the water and so once you have it broken off you have it on the punny you go back into the glory hole which is what reheats it and once you reheat it you open it up with the jacks and make it into whatever form you want and once you have the desired form you break it off of the punny you put it and you grab it and you put it in the annealer and then that's basically how you make a glass object or a glass cup. The process is exciting, the light, the danger I suppose are all elements of it and, um, and it's so immediate, you know, it's very fast so you get to see something right before your eyes that you've made. And that's that's the exciting part.